welcome back guys so in this session we will see uh, how we can mitigate the challenges uh, we are facing with respect to the promises okay so as we all know that uh, javascript or typescript is kind of um, an asynchronous behavior of execution so means there is no guarantee that after this line of code this line of code will execute and then this one so the, uh, so now the problem is that it is asynchronous in nature so sometimes it can this line can execute and then it can go into this line so that is why the promises were not resolving automatically and we have to resolve that promise uh, on our own so like for an example here i am printing the alert text like as you can see alert dot get text now i can't print it as log dot debug like alert text equal to alert dot get text and then log dot debug because sometimes what can happen the log dot debug can execute first and then it will go to this line so that is why we are using a then command Command. so if you see here uh, alert text dot then keyword and then function and then we are taking that uh, uh, what do you call this promise so this alert text will return a string right so this string I am putting it in inside the txt so once this line will execute then you execute this one so this is nothing but the selenium web drivers control flow or the web driver control flow which was uh, uh, what you call which was helpful for us to synchronize the commands that we are executing okay but now what is happening this uh, web drivers control flow will deprecate soon so and if you see in in the upcoming features of es7 so there is a new concept we are getting that is async and await okay so by the help of async and await we can avoid this way of writing this structure so if i show you another thing let me get the right example yeah so if you see here see we are writing like this so this dot option means if once you identify that capture that into items and then you operate that and inside that item also if you're getting any text like you are uh, looping that so again you are putting it then and then printing these things means it has to execute sequentially so that asynchronous behavior we are making it as synchronous by using the web drivers um, control flow but as it is going to deprecate and we are getting fewer and the typescript itself is supporting the async and await so why not we can opt that feature and then can avoid all this uh, then keywords by using chaining up the then keywords so today we are going to see how we can avoid this control flow and what else things that we need to add with this okay so first thing what I will do so as I was telling there is a async and await keyword in TypeScript which will make our execution synchronous okay so two requirements before moving into this uh, one is your node.js should be so it should be greater than or equal to 8 version and then the jasmine that you are using should be greater than 2.7 so if you are using jasmine less than 2.7 please do upgrade that from the package.json and node.js uh, you can install the latest one from the google so you can search in google node.js or else directly navigate to node.js.org and install the latest one okay so for this what i will do let me just navigate to create a new branch so i can give a sync so this async branch i will update everything and i will push it to the github okay and then i can share that uh, github link into the description so you can follow you can follow that later okay so here i will do one thing i will comment this one okay and i will put a static async so async okay and then what I will do every time I'm doing something await await means wait till exec till the execution of this so how can I get the alert before to that I should navigate to the alert right so the same thing so every action that I am going to do there I can do now here log dot debug I can do like as it is because I am awaiting here so directly what I can do I can put it like this okay and here this text should be string okay 
so like this you can do and here you can say uh, await okay so like this it is there now here to make this async now await where i should use so if you see in one of in our test we are we are calling that uh, method right this function we are calling so here what you need to do async keyword you need to use then every method that you are calling here that should be prefixed with await okay so now before moving to this so this particular verify uh, and close alert we are using uh, in here right so here i need to do an await okay now to make it as await this method has to be async and here await like this so async wherever you are uh, you are writing the definition of that so as you can see before to this method definition i'm writing this and anything that you are calling should be in await so because you are performing an action so you wait till that action completes and then move to another action okay so that is why now as we are clear let me firstly go into detail uh, here quickly and then i will put it as await okay i'll come to this one later let's move one by one so here uh, I can go async and then await and then here async avoid the situation also this waiting so I can just disable this one and then I can say await this dot add customer dot click so like that I can do now let's go to the home page and here the same thing async and then this should be await okay and now go here so you make this one as a sync and then put everything await all the actions because after entering the first name it has to go to the second name and this has to be await because this method is already a sync right if you see here a sync so we are done with everything right now in this as i was telling if we are making this one so this has to be also a sync okay and then so as you can see this then is not required now because i am doing a wait so until this uh, after this uh, task is completed it will come to here so what i can do here log dot debug and i can directly print this one okay and then what i can do i can comment this line so i don't need this one the same thing here put an async keyword and then here i will do like as i was telling i don't need this line of code here no then is required now what i can do i can go here await log dot debug because sometimes what used to happen just to print this uh, what do you call log dot debug or any kind of logging i need to use then okay and then directly i can print this one and then here instead of this i can do like this fine okay and then everything i can put one await here all the navigation says to be await browser dot sleep it is not required await and then put await okay so like this you need to do now there is one task as i was telling we'll do that later point of time so this is what i'm talking about so i'll do one thing at this moment let me copy this entire one and then paste it here and then i will comment this whole line of code here okay because we have to implement this await right async await so now if you see here i okay i can print this one now this whole set of code i don't need this whole set of code i can just ignore now what i will do here so here let me first print another thing here debug and then here let me print this entire thing okay so here as you can see there is no concept of items right but this items has to be await okay these dot options these dot options now from where this is coming and this has to be async okay so this dot options is this one as you can see here these dot options i'm using directly here no then i'm using okay so that is something you need to use it here like this then what i will do now i will put a for loop okay so for let i equal to zero the same for loop only but in a different way now here what i will do 
I can directly copy paste this one okay length and then semicolon i plus plus okay now here what i will do log dot debug because i we were printing right so what i can do here now await okay this dot options dot get of i get of i dot get text fine and this is a method right like this i can print now here what i will do i'll put a condition right here what is that condition if i wait this dot get text equal to equal to this name then what i will do then click on that now i can do one thing i'll copy this one and then dot click okay I can do like this fine now see this particular whole set of code I'm writing only this much this four lines now let's compare this one let me minimize this one okay so as you can see here we are first taking this dot options dot then means after you identify this one then you put that collection into items and then proceed now we need not to do that because i am awaiting so till i will get this option don't do anything so length i got it here so these two lines i made it into one line now here as usual i am putting a for loop now here you can see each item that i am getting that also i I have to handle the promise here into a text but here I need not to do that because I can directly print because I'm doing await so each time I will get an option wait till that item is found here so I can just remove these things I think there is one more okay so like this you can do fine okay so I think we are almost done with everything okay now let's run this spec so npm run test or npm test okay so it is entering the names added successfully customer open account choose the currency as dollar process it and then we got the alert then close the browser okay so as you can see uh, the test case got executed okay so that's how we can reduce uh, I mean one of the best example is to reduce this number of lines of code with this and this is more readable format right just make sure that the async the await should be followed by an uh, what do you call async wherever you are using that okay so this is how you can do okay so if you would have observed uh, we are uh, focusing into add customer and open account but we did not do the customers so in the customers what you can do whatever the customer you are adding it what you can do so this is this kind of an assignment uh, with async and await so you need to go to this particular customers tab and then find what customer you have added and then delete uh, that particular item from this grid so this is kind of an uh, assignment for you guys uh, with async and await so um, please do practice and let me know in the comments if you're getting any kind of issues with that okay so that's it guys with the async and wait so so stay tuned with us uh, we will be getting some more topics for you guys thanks for watching